Why did you ask me to come here? After all this time? I needed to see you. You think it's okay to leave message after message on my phone? You don't think anyone will notice? You better have a damn good reason. I needed to see you. Well, here I am. I did something stupid, Audrey. It's Sophie. I went to see Montoya's widow. Are you out of your mind? Frank, I remember him, the ginger one from the bar in Chelsea. Frank doesn't have ginger hair, Bex. Well, red then. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm mistaken for Paul. Of course, my mistake. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. And sorry about the noise last night. You see, he was rather heavy on the vodka. Don't be silly, it's fine. I really remember now. He was tall. And you two made such an awkward couple. It's a good thing you were so enamored with each other. Frank's not tall, Bex. Not tall, darling. Don't be ridiculous. He's practically a giant. No, he's not. He's not tall. The top. He's slightly smaller than me, I'd say. Stubble. Good looking. What? The builder? The lawyer? What? The banker? Wasn't he Spanish or something? I've got to go to work, girls. Have fun. You followed me? Oh, you're not even denying it. It's not what you think of. Hey, don't you dare call me that. Like, we took vows, Kira. In front of our family. In front of God. Does that mean nothing to you? Of course it does, Eamon. Well, I... Who is he? Like, what's he got that I don't? It's complicated. Complicated. Okay. How complicated can it be for you not to cheat? You're my wife. Okay. Yes. You're right. I'm miserable, Eamon. It's not because we haven't any kids. You and I both know that. What are you trying to tell me? Eamon, I, I'm really sorry. <laughs> and I love her. <laughs> 